How to buy a house in Northeast Edmond. Hi, this is Keith May with Keller Williams Realty in Central Oklahoma. Today I'm talking about how to buy properties in this very desired part of town, in Northeast Edmond. Certainly it's an area with great highway access, less traffic, uh, more trees, near top-notch elementary schools, two golf courses, You've got high quality entertainment, UCO, Francis Tuttle, uh, Votech. And when someone is purchasing a house in, in Northeast Edmond, oftentimes it's not their first house. And again, oftentimes you're going to have a contingency. Uh, speaking of Northeast Edmond, I'm in front of a beautiful listing I have in the summer of 2022 at 605 Joni Deanne in the North Creek Edition. It's four bedrooms and a three car garage. The house is built built in 1995. It was remodeled in, in 2019. It's on a private quiet cul-de-sac. One of the things somebody in this price range is going to want to know about is have your inspections been completed yet on your house and has your appraisal been completed yet on the house. Those are two of the main things that can cause issues with uh, selling a house. So structuring your deal and getting those things done up front with the buyer of your house so you can make an offer and tell the seller, hey look, inspections have been done, TRRs have agreed to, any repairs have been taken care of, we're done with the appraisal issue, or the buyer, buyer is paying the appraisal gap, they're going to like that. The second thing a seller may want to know about, especially if they've updated their property and taken care of it a lot over the years, as many of them have in this location and price range, is, is the buyer going to be asking for a lot of repairs? Now, I'm not talking about safety things, uh, things that will funk the functionality of a house, something a seller may have to do anyway if they stayed in a house, some things that are circumspect, speculative, perhaps cosmetic. Uh, if a buyer can share with the seller up front, hey, look, we're not gonna ask for any of that stuff. We just wanna make sure it's, it's safe and functional. They might be willing more to, to deal with you and you can consider that when making your offer. And again, communicate that. The third thing is overall communication. Uh, tell the seller that you'll be flexible with them on your terms if you can. If, if possible, tell them you'll be flexible on the closing date. Offer to give them a couple more days to get out of the house after closing. Uh, put up good earnest money. Offer to cover the appraisal gap or adjust your loan if you have the, the extra funds. Uh, not a lot of houses uh, being built right now. Obviously in 2022's market, not a lot of inventory in this instant sale environment with buyers coming from everywhere. So if you wanna uh, have a step up on the competition, these are three things you may consider to make your contract and your prospects for purchasing uh, better. There's more videos in a link I have below, a landing page. If you'd like to check out, I have some further resources, some contact information there, and some things that also could help you in this real estate market. Again, it's Keith May with Keller Williams Realty, 405-330-2626. Thank you.